Hey everybody, it's Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, and we are back once again at Spring Grove Cemetery in Cincinnati, Ohio. And if you remember, Spring Grove is where the rich, the famous, and the famously rich and successful are buried among the 700 acres. Now, those buried there include the Krogers of Kroger Supermarket fame. Who else is there? Uh, Procter & Gamble, both Procter & Gamble of Procter & Gamble Manufacturing. And we also have Fleischmann of Fleischmann Yeast fame. Uh, we covered that in an earlier video. And today, of course, we have the hugely famous in the 1800s. May not be famous name to you, but it's famous today. And he's also famous for his mausoleum, Edmund Dexter. Now, Edmund Dexter was an American uh, whiskey maker. And he was so well known worldwide that guests at his home include uh, the Prince of Wales, uh, who was the future uh, King George VII, I believe, and also uh, Charles Dickens was a guest at his home on 4th Street in Cincinnati. Now, it's important to note that Edmund Dexter was an expert whiskey maker and not a distiller. He would go around to the farms, the local farms, and, and contact other distillers, and then he would blend those whiskeys to make his own creation. And those creations include Old Dexter, Arlington, Holmesdale Rye, Quaker Seal, <clears throat> Target Rye, and Old A. Keller. Now, obviously, the Dexter uh, distributing company is long gone, but it's interesting to note that you can still buy Old Dexter. I don't know if it's the original recipe, but um, you can buy it. And is it any good? I don't know, but it's $50 a bottle and it sells out every year and has a great label that pays tribute to Edmund Dexter. Now, you're probably asking me, Scott, what does it look like on the inside? Can we get photographs? Absolutely not. This mausoleum has been closed the entire time except for one day in the 1870s was open up to the public and carriages from far and wide came up. And what they found was down on the bottom, you had 12 catacombs. And today there are 20 individuals buried there, uh, 19 of them with the Dexter name. And uh, if you go up to the next level, that's the chapel and that is 12 feet wide by 30 feet long by 34 feet high, and it has stained glass and marble and all that. Uh, interesting to note, at the time, this mausoleum cost $100,000 to build. That's $1.3, $1.4 million in today's money, and it was never completed. So, and you can tell, so if you stand in front of the mausoleum, look straight up, uh, you will see a giant hole in the in the structure, and that's where a piece of stained glass would have been. And there's a number of other things they didn't finish. And then you will also notice as you go up close, you'll see giant pieces of it has fallen, and and they put it aside uh, because nobody has done any maintenance to this the entire 144, 150 years that has been in existence. So let's take a look at this magnificent mausoleum. To find this mausoleum, as you enter the cemetery, make sure you go through the main gates with the old uh, structure that's the business office is on your right. Do not go to the funeral home side because it'll get you all twisted around and be a little more hard to find. So as you go through the main gates of the cemetery, go straight ahead. You'll go, I believe, under a bridge structure and then keep going straight 
On your left, you'll see Charles Fleischmann's uh, large mausoleum. So then you know you're in the right place because you're looking for section 20. And then you go up and then you make the first left you can on the road and you drive a little further, like 200 feet. And then you will see his massive mausoleum right on the road with the lake in the background. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you'd like to know more about Edmund and his sons and what they did, and he had a very successful family and uh, all that great bio stuff and pictures and videos and more pictures of this massive, marvelous uh, monument, please visit my website at thetombstonetourist.com. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on uh, our next video. And thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye.